guys, it's Michelle again, and today we're gonna have an awesome video on three questions to ask your professor and three questions you want to avoid asking your professor because these are questions that are, you know, you just don't want to do. So let's get started. My first tip that I want to give you all, that's why it's number one and it's a question you want to avoid, is you want to avoid asking questions that are already from the syllabus. I cannot stand it when there's that one student who says, oh, what? What? What are your office hours? And it's like, come on out. It's on the, it's on the syllabus. You should know this. And my tip number two to a question you want to avoid is you never want to ask your teacher, can you just give me an A? And I feel like that can be as a joke, like, can you just give me the A already? But I think it's another one of those irritating questions that you just don't want to ask. And actually, I have a tip on something else that you can ask, and that's going to come later. My tip number three, you never want to ask your professor, can you write me a reference letter somewhere? This question, although it's a great question to ask, should be until the end. You want to be careful with who writes them. You want to wait till the very end. Not only do you want the professor to get to know you, but you also want to take the time to get to know the professor. And that's my last tip on the questions you want to avoid asking. On to the questions that you really want to ask your professor or questions that might just enhance your experience at school. So my first one, the first question I would recommend all of you to ask your professor is what are the resources that you recommend me going to or seeing or talking to because it could also be people when you are available during office hours and this is a great question to ask because in this way as a new student at least for me i was able to know of new centers my school has a writing center the learning center and these are all resources for students who feel as though they need more help aside from just classroom from their teacher because sometimes certain teachers can't help that student because of the way they teach or communicate their lessons it's a little different and that's totally normal but there's always that one person that can help you and maybe has a better strategy for you so something that i would recommend all of you guys to do and i'm sure that the professor if they are willing to help you which i'm sure they will will give you the best recommendation on who to see for their subject my tip number two is you want to ask your professor some tips that they can give you for that subject to succeed and this will help you especially if you communicate that you're not really strong in that subject sometimes they'll recommend flashcards websites teachers students it'll give you all of this information on just tips and a bundle of it they'll give it to you for free and you get to decide what you want to do with that information either you want to accept it or deny it or whatever but the fact that you go in to talk to them asking for these tips it's just going to be mind-blowing not to just you because you've gotten all of this information but to your professor as well they'll be super excited to give this information out as teachers they like to give out new material not just what they know in their classroom because they repeat it every year but also what they know as a professor they've been in your shoes and they want to help you as a student succeed so ask those questions guys on number three and this is more to save again for the end and what are some tips that you have for me as a student to improve Given that you have come in so many times, or at least one time, which is probably one more than many other students have gone, they're going to notice you in that classroom and they're going to have tips on maybe how to do better. And if they don't, maybe they haven't been paying attention because they are really busy. Um, they're going to ask you what grade you got. Maybe they'll ask you what did you do. And then maybe they'll give you tips on next time and how to do better. I definitely recommend this because at the end of the day, all of the tips that they give you is not just for that class. It can be expanded to any other class. And I think you're going to see that if you ask all of your professors these questions, they might just give you the same answer and don't be surprised surprised because those are just the answers to being successful in school and I really hope that all of these tips helped you guys out and that you find yourself in a comfortable position where you can excel in your environment that you are in in school. For me these questions really helped me coming in and not knowing any of these tips would have been really helpful to know in the beginning and it would have saved a lot of my time. So I hope that this helped and please if you liked any of my tips subscribe. I will try and get a subscribe button somewhere here. Yep, it's going to be right there. And I just want to say have a great one. And that's it for this week's video. Bye. And I choose Spotify has a great selection of moods. If you guys don't know yet, 